Hello. Pick the van. Hey there. Hi, what have you got this week? Come and see. Ooh. Welcome to the virtual van again, and this week it's all about the heat, heat induction. So a lot of you would have seen it or got one, you will know how good they are. And plenty of people have not seen them. So our heat inductors are super popular. If you've not seen one working, now's your chance. So I'm gonna turn them on. So these run off a normal plug, single phase. So let's plug them in. And we switch them on, turn the wand on, and we're ready to go. So all you do, hold it on and heat away. So as you can see, it's that instant. Let's put that there and that's cold to touch. So you can hold that no problem. It's water cooled. So I'll give you another demo. There you go. So straight on, heat up, no flame. As simple as that. So the beauty of this one against the old type now where there's coils is you can get any anywhere you like and go tight up to something and you're heating away. That's a bit better. So this will also heat aluminium as well. Be careful when you heat aluminium though because obviously it doesn't turn, turn red. You can turn the control panel, will give you 10 settings. You can go up and down all the way up. Most of you will have it on full maximum most of the time unless you're heating aluminium. Um, simple as that. So the, the unit comes, you turn it, you unpack it, plug it in, turn it on, away it goes, it comes pre-filled with coolant. Um, it's on wheels, so you don't need an extra trolley. It's on wheels, you can roll across the workshop with it. Because we have a three meter hose package on these, so it's nice and long. The reason we do that is if you're in a workshop with a well ramp, or you want to get underneath the car and not lift it into the well, you can reach most of the way under the vehicle with this one. Um, so that's one of the features of our heat inductor, the three meter hose package. Um, we do a, probe arm optional extra that goes on the side so you can curl this up and hook it over which is really worth having i would normally show you one but they've been that popular this last few weeks that we're out of them so stainless steel arm goes on the side and keeps it nice and safe as you're rolling it around another huge advantage of our machine is you can change the magnet in the head well um, they're, they're not consumable as such but they they, they do wear out in the end so I, I guess they are consumable but not every few weeks so it comes with a spare one cable tied to the machine um, they look like that and all you do is you undo the two screws pull the teflon cover off and put the new one in reassemble so they're available separately at relatively inexpensive um, then we do different same with the cover the teflon cover is available as well so all the spares are available um, the standard head that comes with the machine is what we call our 90 degrees, so it's 90 degrees to the, to the heating unit. Um, then we do a couple of straight versions. That's our straight version there. That will fit in the majority of wheel bolts holes. So if you've got a locking bolt you want to do or undo, you can heat it up first. So that is a helpful on locking wheel bolts and obviously everything else. So you just undo that nut there, put a new one on with a new nut and that will compress up. Then you have a straight one that shares the same magnet as the standard one. So people like that one as well because you don't have to carry spares of these. So again, that will go on and the heat will go directly in front of you rather than to the side. Um, same, you can change the, the magnet exactly the same way as the other one. So yeah, that's the heat induction unit. Really popular, um, big time saver. Good for some people report that they've got cheaper insurance with no naked flame use, um, no gas storage either on the premises. And obviously you can use it in places you can't use oxyacetylene. The only thing it won't do that oxyacetylene will do is cut, but not many people are using that for that anymore. So it's a really good direct replacement for oxyacetylene as opposed to the coil heat inductors that have come out a few years ago now, which were good when we first saw them, but they'll go over something but not on something so that's where this one scores so that's our heat induction if you want to know more about them then give us a shout and uh, we can go through them no problem with you that's the end of the virtual van this week and i'll see you on the next one thanks Pickler. see you next week Cheerio.